Welcome to 4K Films Canada. This is week 10 of Monday Daydreaming. It's pretty hard to believe it's been 10 weeks for this series already. Uh, if you're new to the channel and you missed week 1 to 9, don't worry. It's all in one video from last week. It's a catch-up episode because this series did originate on Instagram. So don't worry, you can go back and watch that. I'll have that linked in the description. And yeah, if you new to the channel please like comment and subscribe and let's bring some more attention to these titles and hope that the studios will take notice and put them out for us in today's episode we will be talking about a michael mann film from 2009 called public enemies um mixed reviews on this movie from what i've read but I do love this movie personally, and I do think it is liked enough to sell decently well on 4K. So let's hope that we get it. Like Michael Mann does have his own style, certain style to his movies. And I think this one would be no exception. It would look exceptionally well on that format. It has some darker fight scenes, like the cabin shoot shootout. It has the dance scene with the red dress. And... There's the end scene. I don't want to spoil that much too much if you haven't seen the movie, but there's the end scene that look very good for the HDR especially. Just the cinematography of the, the time period it takes place in. The cinematography of Michael Mann, like I mentioned. There's just so much picture-wise that this movie could look good in 4K, especially with HDR. Dolby Vision would be ideal, but even the HDR, HDR 10 I think would definitely help this movie this film with the darker scenes there's lots of them now for Adobe Atmos again I think that would be exceptional exceptional and, and essential uh, there's a lot of shootouts and there's a lot of surrounding like the one in the one scene I'm thinking of I don't want to spoil it but it takes place in the woods in the cabin and they kind of surround the cabin so I think that type of scene with Dolby Atmos could really benefit because it would surround the room and you would kind of feel like you're actually more in the action at that particular moment. And I think it would just lend itself well, very well to a 4K with Dolby Atmos. Now, do I think Universal will put this movie out on 4K? Possibly, they're rumored at least to be putting their Jaws 2 this summer, as well as Kick-Ass 2. And I know Universal has been slacking lately, especially even with new new releases. But I'm hoping that this is a sign that will be picking up a little bit. They also are going to be re-releasing Mummy Trilogy on one set. So I'm hoping this is a bit of a change for Universal. And I think Public Enemy would be a good catalog title for them to upgrade along with Draws 2 and Kick-Ass 2. But then again, Michael Mann's film Black Hat is also universal and it's being licensed out to Arrow Video. So I could also see this being licensed out to Shout Factory, for example, who just did a universal title of Wanted on 4K, so maybe that will be what happens to Public Enemy. Now, because Universal does seem to license out more titles than do themselves. Which is nothing particular necessarily wrong with that. I do but I would like to see more Universal do more work as well just because there's so many great titles from Universal and they are my personal favorite studio just because as a kid growing up they did all well, my favorite movies were from Universal Jaws, Back to the Future, Fast and the Furious, Jurassic Park all well, my favorite films were from one studio, so of course that naturally lended to me to just loving that studio more than the others. Not saying it's the best studio, but it's my favorite. So it kind of sucks seeing them slack a little bit on the 4K releases, but I'm hoping that that will change. Uh, we'll be talking about another one probably shortly, but yeah, I'm going to give it away now. Lawless, I think that's universal as well. No 4K of that, but I think that would also be good in 4K like for the same type of reasons, dark scenes, 
in the woods, same time period, so naturally that would be good in 4K as well. But yeah, have you stuck around this long? I do have a bit of a reward as week 10. I, as week 10 for this series, I have a bit of a giveaway of Reservoir Dogs 4K code. They do not redeemable in Canada. And I'm not sure if we'll be redeemed in 4K or not. Just a little bit longer, just in case. But I'm not sure if we're redeeming 4K or not. Because I never redeemed the Lionsgate code. But you let me know in the comments if it works for you. And yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. That's a bit of a celebration for week 10 of this series. Again, if you're new, please like, comment, and subscribe. And let's bring some more attention to these titles and hope that they will get a 4K treatment. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.